because I was reading some recent reviews on on Steam for for Last Epoch, and there are some people that are actually kind of kind of disappointed with the game. And I just wanted to show you something. So in Steam charts, if you go to Steam charts, let's just see how many players are playing. Let's say. I'm ever going to ask me for uh, cookies and all that. I hope everything is off just because in Germany, man, they hate cookies and all that things, all that thing with data. So let's see how many daily players last epoch has right now. Just out of curiosity, I guess you can see it. So you see the peaks are less than 1000. So it's it's increasing a bit here, just because um, of the multiplayer being announced. But that's not a lot. So we can just look here for three months, six months, one year. So we had a we had a plateau here in December, November, as they released uh, in December they released the temporal sanction, the first dungeon of the game. And in August, they, we also had a peak because we released Chapter 9 of the campaign. Let me show you something else. What about Grim Dawn? A game that is more or less 10 years old, even if it was released officially only in 2016. What Grim Dawn has uh, is a core of about 4,000 people who are playing it all the time. And most of them are playing it online, playing it with, with other people as well. And you can just see this increase here as well on the weekends here i played last night and yeah another guy just joined my game we were similar levels uh, we're playing elite difficulty and yeah let's see like titan quest for titan quest thq is still releasing expansions yeah they actually uh, released an expansion of amber or something so again, you see about 2,000 people who are playing Titan Quest every day. So what these games have is, is a core following of people who actually play this game every time, every day. And this is very interesting to me. Let's see. For Pop of Exile, let's see something else. For, for Pop of Exile, the leagues are released every three months or so. And you can see when a league gets released, Top maximum player, then it starts to decline gradually. But I think Sentinel is, is very well received right now, so it's not dropping off a cliff. Then when another league comes, again, you can see here a league was released, here a league was released in January, here a league was released, and then you can see. But for Grim Dawn and Titan Quest, there aren't any leagues. Maybe uh, some Leagues that don't have to do with the game uh, itself, but are organized by fans or streamers of the game. Something similar to the tournament for Last Epoch, organized by Vision GL every once in a while, every week or so. But I think this week we're just playing Masochist difficulty. So, yeah, it's, it's actually interesting to see if Last Epoch will be able to attract and keep more players than it has right now.